piece of paper. Perfect.
so balancing those powers and deciding where the federal government's um, role ends and the state role begins can sometimes be an issue. The Constitution does specifically outline information that belongs or in, and jobs that belong to the federal government, right? But um, determining where and when sometimes, even though it's specifically stated, can be tricky, okay? So does everyone feel good about that? We've got the three branches, and we know that the state and federal government, sometimes their jobs overlap, and there's a little bit of a power struggle. Okay. All right, so then yeah, go ahead. the next slide is the answers, and we've already gone over those. So I'm going to hand out some, we're going to take some quick notes. Um, I've given you most of the information. All I'm asking is that you fill in the blanks as we go. Make sure you put your name on this, okay? This is going to be for your reference for other tasks that we continue doing, okay? of the United States government, okay, specifically the three branches, um, and I can also describe the function of the United States government, uh, specifically how the, the function and the structure um, kind of interlace and work together, okay? Go with that? So, the first, the first part says, guys pay attention, when the United States Constitution was put into place, founding fathers implemented a system to ensure that power was balanced among the three branches they created, okay? So we knew up front there was a problem with the distribution of power, right? Yes. So for that, on the first one, it's going to be the Constitution. Well, the Constitution specifically outlined a lot of things, okay? Uh, and it did provide a separation of powers, but I'm looking for the specific name of what that separation of powers was. Okay, and we haven't talked about it, so I'm not, I mean, this is not something you're supposed to know. So it's called, um, what I want you to put in that blank is checks and balances, and that's what we refer to it as. So your first blank is going to say checks and balances. You want to write it. And what that means is each branch of government between the legislative, executive, and judicial, their, their roles are clearly defined and their responsibilities are clearly defined. And on top of what their job is, they hold one another accountable, okay? I use the example in the last class of our administration. We have four principals at our school. They each have a different role and their roles all carry enough weight so that they balance one another out. One person can't make all the decisions independent of the other people, okay? Um, because if we had one branch who was fully in charge, our government wouldn't be so different than what we were trying to leave behind in England, right? Does everybody understand that? It's important that um, each branch can hold one another accountable, okay? So that is what we call checks and balances. Yes? Yes. Okay. So your next blank, um, you all should probably, let's see. Additionally, the Founding Fathers created three branches of government, which are what we just talked about, your legislative, your executive, and your judicial. So those are your next three blanks. Oh, you'll learn that that should spell it. Sorry. I'll write it up here. Oh, yeah, it's up here, too. You can write it off here. Thanks, Danny. <laughs> so when all these people met, the beginning of our government, they had the... Um, 
they had the thought, the creativity. They made these three branches, and they made a system of checks and balances that held each different branch accountable for their um, duties and responsibilities. Okay. Does everyone have those three blanks filled? Yeah. What? Okay. Okay. So the legislative branch, your next blank, can anyone tell me just do you know what the legislative branch is in charge of doing? Does anybody have any idea? It was on the next slide, which is why I switched it, because I wanted to see if you all knew. The Constitution, the Constitution is what outlines everything. Okay. So the legislative branch, yes. Enforces and carries up. I was about ready to say the answer. Well, like enforces the law. The legislative branch actually makes the laws. I think you're thinking of a different branch, but that's a very good guess. Okay. So the legislative. Do what? Where's the answer? The answer to your next blank is makes the laws. The legislative branch makes the laws. When we vote, Miss um, Coleman ran in the last election for. Um, she wanted to be a representative, okay? And she would have gone to, um, the, she would have been working on the legislative branch of the government, and she would be voting on bills, and she would be trying to um, bring information to the meetings that she would attend that would be considered um, the opinions and the voice of the people who had elected her, okay? So this is that branch of government. This is where the senators go, the Congress, and they make the laws. If there's a problem, we try to come up with a solution, and a lot of times that happens in the form of a law. Okay? Yes. So pretty much, uh, executive is the one that's like carried out. We'll get there. Yeah. Yep. So um, one of your test questions was, and one of your test questions was, um, a law or a bill is made, or a law is made, because um, there's something along the lines of because we're bored or because there's a problem. So laws and bills are created when there's an issue, okay? They don't just make them up because they want something to do. Does, everybody, does that make sense to everybody? Yes. All right, we're ready to move to the next one. The executive branch. So Danny, you were gonna tell me, what does the executive branch do? It carries out laws. Carries out the laws. The president is the head of the executive branch. This is where he hangs out along with the vice president and his cabinet, his cabinet people. Um, and they carry out the laws. So that will be your next blank. I think the ones that make each creepy better than evaluates because when we are in um, the courtroom what the judicial system does is they interpret the laws and then they kind of determine how it applies to the particular situation so if um, Kyle's on his cell phone and I take it and he wants to take me to court and say I stole his property then the court would be in charge of interpreting and applying that law to our particular situation okay does that make sense so they're going to interpret the laws and figure out how they fit into whatever scenario they're being asked to make a verdict on, okay, or a ruling. So does everyone have evaluate or interpret laws for the judicial, for the last blank? <laughs> you okay, Marcus? Okay, good with that? Everyone's got all their blanks filled in? Names on it? Or you don't? Judicial evaluates laws. 